What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Cece, and we are here at the 7th Annual Music and Media out here at Lemur Park. And I got the one and the only Lauren LaRosa. Say what's up. Hey, y'all. How are you? <laughs> so you out here. You've been doing your thing. You got your podcast going. What else you got going on? So right now, we, um, we, we kind of took a step back from releasing content on the actual podcast platform. But thank y'all for everybody that has subscribed. We will be back. It's going to be bigger. Just give me a second. But what I've been really focusing on right now is just y'all. Like, talking to the people that are locked in with me via my Instagram, my TikTok. Uh, we have a weekly segment called At The End Of The Day, which is where I go through everything that's went crazy in entertainment news, any stories that we've broken at Brown Girl Grinding for the week. Starting Monday, February 5th, it'll be a daily show where we'll cover the biggest topic of the day. Um, and then, yeah, I just grinding like I just been doing so much stuff I'm, I'm writing right now with a show um, that's on ESPN okay, okay. producing a little bit like y'all really just out here like grinding and like child I'm, I'm swimming I'm swimming against the water I'm trying to stay afloat right now that's I'm having a good time though so I also do want to talk about brown girl grinding because that's been blowing up since I've seen it maybe like six seven months ago but it's been moving for a while so can you talk a little bit about that yeah, so Brown Girl Grinding is, um, it's the group chat. Like, Brown Girl Grinding is literally uh, a media and production for company that I created to tell stories. I'm a storyteller. I came to LA telling my story of being a brown girl on her grind and trying to figure out television and fashion and business. And it turned into like this community of like people who also were outside hustling and wanted to know what was going on while they were doing it. So now that I'm like, you know, fully brown girl grinding and out here on my own, I can do it the way I want to. So we give you guys the, the hottest in celebrity news, entertainment, exclusives, and conversation. Like anything that's going on, we talking about it over at Brown Girl Grinding. We also do in-person events um, where we bring people together. But it's really like home. It's community. It's conversation. It's content. It's culture. It's Brown Girl Grinding. So you were also in the uh, running of becoming one of Breakfast Club's co-hosts. You know we got to talk about it because they, they picked Jess Hilarious. Were you feeling some type of way about that or are you just like, hey? I mean, I think... So let me preface this by saying, because people are going to be like, oh, she was, I am really, 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 really happy. You're the first person that I've actually spoken to the, about this. So, yeah, um, I'm actually really happy for Jess because I know what it's like to really be working hard and like building your brand and building numbers and, you know, working with different platforms and with me coming from TMZ and being at Breakfast Club, I really felt, number one, how locked in their audience is, how much of an opportunity and, and like a vibe that room is. So for her to get to that place in her career where that will be home for her, it's going to be amazing. Like, it's going to skyrocket. At, I mean, she's already there, but I'm excited to see how, you know, much more of a superstar she becomes because of the love and the, like, just the eyes surrounding that room. But as a human being, you know, of course, like, and I'm competitive. Me and Jess, we both East Coast girls. You know, I'm from Delaware. She's from Baltimore. So, of course, it was very much like I, I wasn't, I came in there just on some, like, oh, I, I got a quick two days. Let me come in here and let the people know I quit my job and do my thing. And it turned into so much more, so I was grateful. But I was competing. I, I was trying to Shaq and Kobe it. But, you know, I, I really appreciate everything. Like, I appreciate just being able to like be in the room and learn and like I now I gain the family like the Breakfast Club is family now. Me and Jeff, me and Jess have actually spoken and you know I congrat I already sent her the congratulations as well too. But like people ask me that I'm like anybody would have wanted that job like hell yeah if I'm being honest. But it wasn't like a ooh like it wasn't shady. It was just like of course I wanted the job but I'm so happy for her. And that's not the last you're gonna see of me on that platform or on any platform. I'm outside now. I'm here now, baby. I'm here. And then you're also very close friends with Chrissy B, and you're here this year. How does it feel to be here supporting your friend? I love Chrissy. Chrissy could call me from like Kansas and be like, "Sis, we got whatever going on over here," and I'm gonna try and figure it out for her. Like, one thing I love about Chrissy and I love about you know music and media and like everything that she's doing with the brand is that. It's very homegrown, and, and it's, it's so important for her to get back to where she's from in L.A. And I'm like that with where I'm from in Delaware, so I support her mission, and everybody loves her. It's like you cannot love Chrissy. She's really a real one, too, and she's very like dedicated to her mission and her goal, and she cares about brand building, good music, good people, good business. 
that's I'm in line with that. You know what I mean? So I love her to death, love everything that she's doing. I'm always support any way I can. Yeah, we out here brown girl grinding, okay? Also, because I like to have fun on my show. So I'm gonna give you a little hip hop trivia question. Just one. We ain't gonna get too crazy. Okay. All right, so let's see. Which no, we're not doing that one. I don't know the answer. It's all right. It's all right. Okay. You seen Get Rich or Die Trying, right? All right. So, how many times did 50 Cent go platinum? I don't know. <laughs> I thought you was going to ask me how many times he got shot. Like, no, I don't know. Enough times to be richer than me, and I'm broke as hell, and I'm probably going to die trying. Like, I don't know. Like, don't, I don't know. Hey, okay. I'll give you an easy one. Don't worry. We'll give you an easy one. All right. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I was looking up hip hop trivia. This is where we at. So, yeah, I, I mean, I, I enjoy the sport of hip hop and I love talking about it, but I don't yeah. know like that. Okay, okay, here we go. So, okay, which artist was walking with God through the wire? Kanye West. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. We gotta mix it up. No, because I'm like, that's too easy. It's no way. I almost, I almost didn't say Kanye because I'm like, it's no way. She just asked me how many times 50 Cent went platinum. Now she's like, God through the wire. Like, the Kanye. Period, y'all. This is Lauren LaRosa, y'all. It's your girl, Cece. We're at the 7th Annual Music and Media. Shout out to Chrissy B. We'll catch y'all next time.